Have you always been curious about Vue.js? Let us help you get started with a quick introductory application. In just five minutes, we'll build a Vue application from scratch, one which even accesses data from a web service. All you need is CodeMix, and if you don't already have it installed, look in the description for instructions. We start off creating a new Vue project using the project wizard, which you can find under CodeMix. The project is created using a template of a bare bones, but fully working and deployable Vue application. During the project creation, we also ensure that the right extensions are installed. So if we go to the extension manager, you will see that the Vue pack is installed along with the Vetour extension, an extension that provides key view support. Before we get started with the code, we use the create new integrated terminal command to create a terminal for this project from the command palette, which you can get to by pressing control or command shift P. If you don't already have node or NPM installed on the machine, they will be automatically downloaded for you as you can see happening here. Now, when the download is complete, we'll be presented with a shell. And what we want to do here is install the Axios module. Uh, this is the dependency our project needs. Uh, when the npm install command is completed, you'll notice that our project has been populated with a whole bunch of node modules and the package JSON has been updated to include the Axios module as well. Let's go ahead and deploy this application. We copy the npm serve command from the read first file and we execute it in the terminal. It takes a few seconds for the build to complete. But after that, we are presented with a URL at which the app is running. All we need to do now is copy that URL, paste it into our browser, and we can instantly see a running app. As I said earlier, this is an immediately deployable project. Let's move on to some code. We create a new view component by creating a view file in the components folder. Once that file is created, we can use a scaffold snippet to create a basic structure for this file. And as you can see, view files are awesome because this single file contains your HTML, CSS styles, and your JavaScript source. And of course, the editor is smart enough to support all these sections correctly. We'll start off with some JavaScript. You'll notice that we have content assist that provides support for pretty much everything. Imports, classes, methods, and there are handy snippets for common constructs as well. Now, please don't worry about copying code from the video. Just check the description for a link to the source. So what we're doing here is uh, we're going to be using Axios, the dependency that we added earlier. Uh, and Axios is a po pretty popular HTTP client library. Uh, we're using it to request a list of characters from the Star Wars web service. Uh, we're going to add uh, the result of that request to our people array. Now you'll notice that the people array is defined uh, earlier within the data of this component and therefore view makes it reactive, which means that all you have to do is change the value of this regular JavaScript object and the view will automatically update. This reactivity is one of Vue's most distinctive features. Now we can move up to the HTML section. We're going to use Emmet, which allows you to use powerful shorthand, which expands to a fair amount of HTML. And as you can see, it saves you quite a bit of typing. As we enter the rest of the template, observe that the content assist will suggest view specific attributes or directives as they're called in view speak, as well as variables that can be found across your component. Validation is present here too. So if you use a directive incorrectly, you will get an error message. In this particular case, the v4 directive requires a key. And when we enter that in, you will see that the error marker is removed. So what we've done so far is define the new component, but we actually haven't used it anywhere. To hook it up, we head on over to our app component and import the new component. That is the Star Wars people component that we just created. Once imported, we can go ahead and reference it in the components property. We now go ahead and delete the boilerplate markup, replace that with a reference to the Star Wars people component, save, open up the browser, and we should now see a list of Star Wars characters. One more bit. Let's show you how styles work. I'm going to go ahead and left align this list of characters by referencing a CSS class here in our template. And then I'm going to go ahead and define that class in the style section of the component. 
we use a little bit of emit, specify that we'd like the list to be left aligned. Again, save, wait for the build to complete, open the browser, and our list is now left aligned. So I'm sure you'll agree we've been able to build something pretty interesting in just five minutes after starting from scratch. If you'd care to stick around for another minute, I'm going to make this list look a little bit better by adding material design to it. Now to add material design, we're going to install the view material module from the terminal. Now view material is a module that makes it much easier to add material to your view application because as the name suggests, it was specially designed for view. We'll just add some boilerplate to main.js to enable view material and finally go back to our template and slightly modify the elements to use material components. I love how when I'm renaming an element, both the opening and the closing tags are updated. Now, though I did not record it here, we also did add um, a next button and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, modify that button to use a material component as well. Again, save and let's take a look at our app in the browser window and you can see it's all materialized now with the dark theme. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this quick introduction to Vue.js, do consider subscribing. We do have a lot more content planned. If you don't already have CodeMix installed, remember installation instructions as well as the project source are in the description. If you have any questions or comments, well, leave a comment or get in touch with us on email or Twitter. Thanks.